Oh, that looks great for me, Joe. Yep, so we decided to start in 2017. We, oh, 15 actually. We started down at the Bowen Yacht Club just to try and raise awareness for Tash as it was not a thing you'd talk about Crohn's disease because it's to do with bowel and it was a bit embarrassing. So we decided to put a festival on and make it more known that we can raise money. There's no cure at this stage. So we really wanted to bring something to help raise awareness and money to hopefully one day get a cure. So we started at the Yacht Club with just a really small festival and there was a couple of hundred people. Then in 2018 we decided to come out to Bowen River and the festival's just growing year after year. We did have a break in 2022 just after we'd gone through COVID and everything and we did a seated event. So then we had one break and then we're back into it this year. So we had over 500 this year, that's adults and children. So I, we had about 100 children's tickets and 400 adult tickets. Wow, that's great. Yeah, it's been really good. Yeah. Oh, it's really a good thing for Crohn's disease. So what, what exactly is Crohn's disease? Crohn's is the ulcer and ulcerative colitis. It's a digestive disease. So they can have um, ulcerating from eyes down their throat into their intestines. A lot of people end up having their bowels and that removed. Um, and it attacks their insides. It's, it's a very good weekend. We try and put as much entertainment on. We had free things for the kids and we had face painting. I don't know if you've got a few photos of that. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> Carly comes out every year for us. So she actually started with us in 2015 and has done all our events. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. The face paint's been a feature for young and old, actually. Yeah, definitely. We've always had adults as well. We had one festival at... Um, the General Gordon near Mackay and the whole band got their face painted and it was just amazing. What's your favourite thing? Um, running around with the kids and listening to the music. Yeah, just do what you want. Especially running around at night in the crowd when we were playing tag. Uh, the music. The music? Yeah. You like the music? And the dancing? It's pretty good, isn't it? your parents are just doing stuff listening to the music and having and drinking so you can run around having fun yeah you can run like, around having fun I like, I, like, I, like, I like dragging her into stuff she doesn't like <laughs> I, don't, I like i just like pull, pushing her into the crowd yeah, making her dance with me <laughs> there you go <laughs> i kick in and then when started making these like bracelets oh uh, sell bracelets you're gonna sell food? bracelets and bunnies yeah, yeah. Okay, free for we've made ready. money from it where's my pen oh i need black and blue you need like a little clip so you can clip it on the bottoms on the grass so far yes <laughs> the grass <laughs> I was screaming to Jim, I said, what the heck is singing in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> and then you get in all these people here. It is, I was it's saying, crazy. It's crazy. but it's worth it. I love it. I love the crowd and I love them. I love what I'm doing in here. It's so good. I'm excited to be back again next year, maybe, Leon. <laughs> Mate. How are you, Zach? Good. Enjoying your weekend? Yeah. Right away. It's his birthday! The fun ball. Happy it's his birthday. birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Zachariah! Happy birthday to you! Have it! Have it! You've just won yourself out of $600 worth of fridge, mate! How good is that? Cooper's tyres and Bowen Tire Mechanical, the fridge. That's yours, buddy, but you've got to take it home, I'm sorry. Strap it to the roof, stick it in the boot, whatever you want to do with it. Mate, you've won for yourself a Repco prize, obviously, at a Pizza Hut. What's that Repco? Might need a bit of a handy, girls. I can't see any Repco barn. An 88 litre ice box cooler, valued at 268 bucks. No, sorry, valued at 368 bucks. There you go, buddy. But you have to take it home with you. That's the rules. So I wanna, so I wanna ask you, mate, which works out good because mine got stolen last year. <laughs>
just got to <laughs> settle the dust and day two. What's going to happen? What's the plan for today? Uh, we'll kick off this morning. Uh, Kate's going to do some bush bingo at 11. Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> bingo! Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi all, we've got eight minutes to go, so if you haven't got your bingo tickets, make sure you come quickly, because we will start. The first game is called Four Corners. It's the first and last number in the top row, and the first and last number in the bottom row. So it'll be your corners. Okay, we're gonna draw the first number now. 24, seven, four. It's 74. First winner. We have a winner. Yay! All good. Okay, I'll come back with your prize. Huh? What did you win for that? 500. 500. That's all right. That's, good. That's a good day's work. Nice one. We lost two wheels on the way up, so it'll help pay for it. Yeah. Oh, really? Two? Yeah. <laughs> both sides of the caravan. Whoa. Cover the cost. And 90. Congratulations, we do have a bingo winner. Tom's going to win! I just want to thank everyone for supporting us today. Bingo's one of the big fundraisers that held on this weekend. And all the people we raised do go to that. 800. Thank you guys. Get a kiss, kiss. Go shout. I know, I'll shout the table. What's it for? So, completely. So, I'm from with Crohn's disease. So, when we come, we do shirts up. Me and the labs here. We go out and pick a pattern and a colour and a shirt. We do it for the family for us. Oh, wow, awesome. So, yeah, it's just our little gig. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Cheers, thank you. Awesome. Ah, oh, Bradley Jenkins, you in the house. Where's Bradley Jenkins? <laughs> He's not there. No, he is. He's listening. <laughs> Bradley Jenkins, where are you, buddy? Stand up. You're getting married. I didn't know this. They've actually uh, donated 600 bucks, as well as buying their tickets and all that sort of stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, these guys have been here all weekend. And, mate, can I just ask you, how's your weekend been, mate? But he didn't, he actually spoke. <laughs> happy birthday, you guys. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Luke and Melissa. Happy birthday to you. I actually sang at their wedding, so I'm pretty proud of that. Hey, kiss, kiss, hey, kiss. I don't know if Luke was embarrassed when he hit me singing at their wedding. You've got to speech now. I know, that was quite like, I don't remember what I sang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How often do you see a grown man dressed like a tiger? Hey, take me later on when I'm in the kitty room. And we met at Bottoms on the grass. So you met at Bottoms on the Grass? Seven, and seven yeah. Seven years, how long ago? Six years ago. Six years ago. Five years at least, probably. Five years ago? Oh, yeah, probably when I went into the. Like, to your house, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Yeah. Yeah, I lost my husband and we were having a girls' night out and we went to Bottoms on the Grass. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations, put them on the grass romance. Don't, don't. Forget it. That's enough. <laughs> well, That's she enough. took me home that night. Whoa. That's enough. Nice one. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but really, it's. Well, nothing happened that night, I'll tell you. We were, to we were to totally drunk. <laughs> so, this is like an anniversary thing for you. Yeah, too. probably. Probably. Oh. Probably is. Well, we did meet at Bottoms on the Grass. Yeah, I think it was October, November. Yeah, it was. It was, oh, that, oh, it was a different time of year. Yeah, but because yeah, it was quite it's warm. It's a symbol, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Still Bottoms on the Grass. Yeah, yep. Um, Cam here. Come out here a, year, a couple of years ago and uh, 
was enjoying it so much, dancing so hard. It broke me toe. Cheers. <laughs> it was worth it, eh? Oh, it was worth it. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Good Cheers, mate. I hope you toe is straight. I hope you toe is straight. <laughs> <laughs> the grass. Oh, mate, I love the camping out here. The bush bingo, which I won last time we were here. It's fantastic. Um, and all this uh, live music, fantastic. So good. Yeah, it's such a relaxed spot too. Yeah. It is, yeah. Sit out under a tree, have a beer, listen to some great tunes with your mates. It's good. Great spot for it. The reason why Mikey Vaughan's up there today he's been out here a few years, he's been camping, he said, I want to play up there one day. So I've got into uh, my lieutenant bow and he said, uh, do you need anyone to sing, mate? I said, what do you sing? He said, anything. Have you got anything you can send me? Can you send me anything that I can have a listen? Because I'm not going to just put anyone on it there. Three o'clock that morning, it comes through. Bing, and I'm like, hey, what's that? I'd look and he'd sent me something. I said, mate, you bloody hide. Ah, good on you, Mike. Well done, buddy. That's the way to get a gig. That's the way to be honest and get out there. That's a uh, um, Why did the Mexican push his girlfriend off the cliff? Tequila. Uh, that's back in the 19th. Oh, yeah, that one. So you're the woodman? Ah, yeah. <laughs> you tell it all the girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't tell them this is eh? <laughs> Yeah, we'll all be in trouble. I've been sure of it. Wood around. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah right, so it's right on the National Trail. Oh, yeah. You get gypsy wagons coming through, teams of camels. It's just people walking. So how did, uh, who, what's the original story with the Bowen River Hotel? Who actually built it? Like, well, uh, yeah, that's, uh, took on the lease uh, originally and built the homestead but then uh, because he didn't stock it in time he lost it and um, a German by the name of Hornung took it on and then at the turn of the century it became a coach inn oh, for coaches, for yeah. over 30 years coming from Bowen out to Charters Towers wow. and uh, there but then uh, when the coaches stopped coming through it closed down Cunningham's Yeah, right. And, uh, and it just lay dormant for 70 years before they got in and wow. had it restored and reopened it as a hotel. There you go. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? That history. How it survived to that many years like that. It must be a tribute to the builders. A tribute to the builders. Well, put it this way. The building must be pretty good because we've sat in two cyclones where we've moved from up the back in flimsier sort of accommodation and we, we got into the dining room underneath the dining room table in the centre room of this pub through Cyclone Yassi and Cyclone Debbie. Debbie, oh wow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and we felt safe here. Yeah, wow, it didn't barely move. No. Uh, there you go. Made some strange noises. <laughs> Well, the problem on the, on the grass event was a great event, a good turnout. Ah, yeah. oh, this was yeah. superb. This is one of the better ones we're having. That's what I was saying earlier. They're getting better and better. And as you've seen last night, no, not a push or a shove argument. And everything just went smoothly. You know, it was good. Top music, good tucker, cold beer, no complaints. Yeah, there wasn't any complaints. It was no. a great night. Yeah. Um, great that you put it on, um, and thanks for putting it on. It was actually, yeah, I'm glad I got to come along. That's good. Good to see you. Welcome uh, in the Yeah, thank you. Oh. Compliments to the kitchen. Thank you, my darling. Oh, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Compliments to the kitchen. Thank you. 2023, done and dusted. Made absolutely fantastic, up to 500 people. It was a fantastic weekend. We tried to... Uh, raise, well, we're trying to raise $25,000 this week and I'm pretty sure we've bloody done it, mate. It's, it's absolutely great. Um, no incidents, just absolutely relaxed. Everyone just, no, no one misbehaved. It was just fantastic. Um, and uh, we think maybe we, we can come back next year and do it again. <laughs> well worthwhile, looking forward to the next one. Yeah, gonna be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back, oh, really? we'll be back next year. Arnie Schwarzenegger, we'll be we're back. No? Time. No, Paul, tell him we'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll, yeah, we will tell him. Oh, this is it, mate. Here we go, here's another one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>